That was good. Shalom. I'm going to say all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwa Das. Double honor to the apostles, the great millstone. That's who we learn from. Shalom to all the Akim out there. Teaching the truth the proper way, the right way, not the bullshit way. It's out here raining. Oh, shit. See, we come out and teaching the rain. We ain't scared. We ain't like the Wicked Witch of the West. We gonna melt. Get hit with some water. A lot of people, they afraid of teaching the rain. They be like, oh, they be looking for an excuse not to go out and teach. But like, oh, I was raining, can't go teach. Here, uh, this should be good like this. I think that's doing pretty good. Oh, you go ahead, you can have it. I'm good. It seems like it's doing, doing, oh man. It'll be all right. We had days like this, you know what I mean? It's all good. Ah, my bag is Anything, uh, anybody got scriptures? Anybody want to start off? <laughs> That's a hit, goddamn Satan. Fuck you, Satan. I knew one of these days is coming. Sorry. Hey, rain's a blessing, though, right? Go ahead. The speech going to drop like the dude. Oh, that's the, the song. Of, isn't, that, isn't that one of the songs? The song of Moses? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 32. One, give ear, O you heavens, and I will speak and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall dispel as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender earth, and as the showers upon the grass. You know, we out here raining truth on these people. The Lord, word is gonna drop on the rain. Hey, what does rain do though? It makes the crops grow. Without rain, you ain't got no life. Because I will publish the name of the hour and ascribe you greatness unto our God. Hey, that's what we're doing out here on the streets. We're ascribing greatness to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakaka Go ahead. Isaiah 55 and uh, I'm going to start at um, uh, 8. I'm going to start at 6 before you make Seek ye, seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Call you upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto Yahweh and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon him. Right, so you're supposed to be seeking the most high right now. Not you're supposed to be bullshit. Wait until next week. Be like, ah. You know what I mean? I ain't got time for that right now. I'll go out teaching next week. Or next, you know how people always put shit off. Jake, the bit, what's that word? A procrastinator. He's supposed to seek the Lord right now. We out here teaching, so it's the time he's supposed to get it. That's just like with that Romans thirteen. Revelation. Oh yeah. The most I ain't looking for somebody that looking to put the work on. Also, they, they got their they, uh, their personal life before the Yeah, their personal life is more important. Their rap career is more important. Uh, their job... Yeah, pleasing that woman's more important. Their job is more important. Everything to them is more important than going out and doing, doing the work. Yeah, they knew what the fuck was coming and they could get out here doing the work. 
Just like if they knew what the U.S. government had planned coming down the coming down the pipe, these motherfuckers be out here. Not just Jake, but all, every the whole nation probably be in the uproar. You know what I mean? Yeah. If they knew what this government got planned, man. Play those microchipping motherfuckers. They, ain't got, they don't know that's coming. They too busy getting high, popping pills and shit, getting drunk. NFL season, college Oh, season. NFL, college, Ohio State, this beat TCU. Oh, shit. They in a deep sleep. They in a serious sleep, <laughs> That's crazy. I got a quick one just real quick. Romans 13 and uh, 11. No one... And that, knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep, for we know our salvation nearer than when we believe. Right, right. Don't seek research, these motherfuckers is drink their uh, dry bones. Dry bones. Head, head, sleep, same word, man. They got the same word, man. They got no life and no breath in them. Right. Spiritually dead, man. Spiritually fucking dead, man. And one get mad at you, you know, because you ain't like them. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 7 and 15, hate not labor is work, neither, neither husbandry, which the most high has ordained. Oh, we, that's why we, we, we doing this is husbandry right here. We out here, husbandry, that's a, another word for like a farmer. We out here working in the fields right here. We're grinding. Working in the vineyard. Grinding. Hey, this one's stop one day. The scriptures tell you to grind each other. Number not thyself among the multitude of sinners, but remember that wrath will not tarry long. Yeah, you don't want to number yourself among the sinners. Uh, you don't want to be caught out there with them. Sinners. 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 Oh, yeah, damn. I think about that. Sinners. Woo! Sinners. Wow. That's some evil sinners. Sinister also mean left. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the left hand side. Yeah. That's the Satan. That's the devil. Oh, that's shit. how you link the Jews. Yeah. I ain't wrong. That's a romantic sound. All the Latin languages. That's a romantic sound. Shit. Let's go learn a few lines. Go walk into a home and talk some of that. Learn some destruction in, in, in Italian. <laughs> oh, man, you sound so sweet. That's it on that screen. Oh, hold on. Humble thyself greatly for the vengeance of the ungodly is higher than others. Yeah, that's something most people can't do is humble themselves. Admit they don't know nothing. Admit that they're a piece of shit. They can't do that. You know what they do. They know what they feel in their heart. You know what King push? I still couldn't understand what dude was trying to push last week. He was drunk. Yeah, he was talking about that. He was on that Anunnaki shit. Talking about the ancient aliens. Talking about the serpent created man. That's what he was saying. Just like the ball hit a big dude. He, he was, uh, they said the military captured a giant in Afghanistan. Hey. <laughs> I heard about that actually. I see the video. I seen the video, that shit was funny as fuck. That's the giant in Afghanistan. You know? Hey, hold on, let's find out. Well, we know there's giants, but I don't know about all that. For <laughs> real. Man, people are bugged out, they believe in anything, man. They believe in anything but the truth. I mean, they believe some more bugged out ancient alien shit, but you talking about you got half faith to believe in something. That's some bugged out shit to believe in. But they won't believe in the Bible. Hey, what science teaches is some bugged out shit. They teach that everything came from nothing. That's what science teaches. They say the Big Bang, everything came from nothing. I mean, how does that even make sense? How could you even believe? You, that's retarded. Everything came from nothing. It's that strange woman. But you gotta have faith to believe in that, don't you? They got proof for it? Can you see it? Because you know people are like, I only believe in what I can hear, what what I can see. So did you see the Big Bang? You didn't see that. They do teach that Big Bang. And you gotta have faith to believe in that bullshit. Big Bang. 
you did try to say that. Uh, you talking about the box, basically, when you wasn't there, but y'all talking about something happening. Fucking, they trillion years. Yeah, they the say trillion. Years. Yeah, they say the Earth is four billion years old. Yeah. Well, that's a different number than you and I be doing. But them science books was written by. Oh, shit. <laughs> they always making up new dates. That's a whole fucking time. <laughs> That's crazy. They, they, they just know how old the sun is. They know how big, the, how old the galaxy and the universe is. Man, well, like, come on, bro. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So the wicked, his truth is a fucking, ain't nothing but a goddamn full soul of lies. They ain't never been to the sun, but they know everything about it. Never will. I was watching some bugged out video yesterday. <laughs> They said all the stars and the sun is a, a stargate. You can fly through the sun and it opens a portal up and you, you'll come out another sun. They say you go on one sun and come out another. It's fucking crazy. And people be coming up with all kind of crazy they shit. They believe that shit too. All they gotta do is put in a movie. You know me, I be watching some crazy shit. I, I watch the book that shit too. Put in the movie, everybody gonna believe it. Oh, everybody. Yeah. Proverbs 3. 11. My son despised not the chastening of the Lord, he could be worried of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he corrected. Even as the Father the Son and whom he delighted. Alright, so whom the Lord loveth, he corrected. So who we out here to teach is Israel, right? That's it. Because the Lord loved Israel. Like, scary motherfucker. Hey, I hey. see. What's up, bro? We in the middle of a video. Hey, are y'all? Hey, well, you ready for the scriptures? We teaching the scriptures, brother. Oh, you came up first thing you worry about is trying to get money off somebody. You want that channel. You know what I mean? You want that channel. He didn't give a fuck about what we saying. And he doesn't and everybody know he already a hustler. Then people already exposed him, didn't they? Then that one dude come up. Somebody came up here one day that said that was he me who saw him. Oh yeah, you seen Acting, him, right? Talking kind of normal. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> this guy, he got a 12 tribe time? Huh? He got a he got a, a chart to eat him. <laughs> that 12, that 11 tribes. I think Esau got like 11. They ain't got a full 12. All the sons. Yeah. Came like his damn tribe. That's the funny shit. The lost goats to eat him. That's some deep shit though, you said, man. That's some evil sinister shit that's going into it. Oh, shit. It's all right. It's doing pretty good. It's not, it's not raining that bad right now. He got the fever. He's over there. He's over there. He's over there. This is uh, this is important to read. It's easy to spell from the... You said it, uh, five. It says... It's like, uh, five says, When you have forgotten... When you have forgotten the education and speaking to you as a security, my third is five not thou the passing of the Lord, and we're faithful thou be two children, for whom the Lord loves the capital, and we're supporting every soul who will receive it, if you endure chastity, God dealing with you as your sons. And what, what, what do most niggas do? They, their, their, muscle, their missile defense systems comes out. Even though they hitting shit, they go into defense mode, you know, because they being corrected, man. And they totally, they totally fall off and cast off that, oh man, we're trying to give you truth so you can learn truth. Right. Instead, of, instead of pushing that damn falsehood around, we're trying to help you stop looking like a goddamn fool out here, man. You know? I don't want to look like no fool. Hey, man, hey, hey, hey. I, we witness it every day. Give the people the truth, and they just on camera. And, and like the old girl was saying, that y'all made y'all made me look stupid. Y'all was making me look stupid. Y'all made me feel bad. You know. And we make. Well, we didn't do nothing. We had him looking stupid. Remember the first time you came out? <laughs> I mean, when I first heard the truth, I was looking stupid. I was on the comment board saying some dumb shit. Oh, not me, man. I kept my. I, ain't, I was a too overwhelmed. Well, you know, I I, I wasn't really I like. What saying, I wasn't backing up. I said some. Shit like I was an expert on ancient history or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? But they correct as soon as they correct me, I was like, oh shit. Right, 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 right. Hey, 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 it's how the little works, man. Don't give a damn about your feelings. If somebody proves you wrong, bro, you gotta admit it. Right. So I feel more comfortable. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, oh, I'll eat. Yeah. You know, and even if you don't come 
out with it, you know? You still got in your mind a lot of madness you learned from the fucking world. And you're like, damn, man, like that too? I'm going off it. I'm telling you, man, I didn't want to let go of that, uh, that uh, safe shifter, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> I remember that. Hey, but the, the angels are shape shifters. Yeah. They'll shape shift on your ass. I was just, I, what got me was uh, the word, um, uh, um, uh, 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 draconian. Oh, the draconian. And I looked it up. And the, the word, the actual government used the word draconian in their law. Yeah, that comes from the Greek. Yeah. Just saying stern or strict. Or it's not. Whatever. It's not the reptilians from the <laughs> constellation Dracos. That's what had me convinced, though. <laughs> draconian. Yeah. yeah, I was watching all the videos. Reptilians and all the multitudes of videos on there showing people, yeah, yeah. showing a oh, video. Yeah, this, huh? A video might blur up yeah, a little bit and make it look that. like the place is safe. It's changing a little bit. It ain't nothing but video. What's up, man? Uh, you got a question? Yeah, yeah. Go on in. Ask, a question you, ask away. <laughs> Wait, he's a part of this? I'm out here, ain't I? I am. Wait, I got you a question. Are you part right. of this? Huh? Are you part no. of this? Right. I'm okay. not. Well, let me, all right, so. With that whole uh, tribes of Judah and stuff like that, uh, is that defeat Jesus being your Lord and Savior? What? I don't even like, see question. But you guys are 12 tribes of Judah, right? You guys are the Israelites, right? Yeah, not the 12 Judah. tribes of Judah, the 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah, so you guys believe in all that, right? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. It's in the Bible, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you a question. Is that defeat, like, you guys pay, paying attention to that? Uh, okay. Wait, probably, we got you don't want it you don't want it all right all right you scared you no, scared it's all right you scared no. you scared bro it's just you I'm coming just up in the spirit of contention you scared i'm just asking you guys a question i don't know well ask, ask away ask again uh, go because you know I, I would appreciate it if i'm not on youtube or anything crazy like that because me myself i'm not too avid in my literature in the bible but I am a Christian and I do try to study as much. Oh, I got a scripture so for I you. I would appreciate, you know. I would appreciate. You say, you say you're not too good on, what do you say? You're, I say, I say, uh, you're not too good on the scripture? No, I got a scripture for you real quick. Revelation uh, 1 and 3 says, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. So you gotta be reading the script, you gotta be studying, bro. Yeah, yeah, I try, man, I try. I, I mean, I am trying. Well, you try, but, but you can't just pick up that book on your own and learn that book. You gotta be taught how yep. to understand that book, you understand? And that's the Lord just doing that. He sent men out here to teach you that word. You ain't gonna learn it on your own. You just gonna be out here calling yourself a Christian all day long, man. You know, and these Christians, what, what's the history of the Christians? Not knowing them. Well, let me ask you a question. What do you believe? The as truth. A, you believe the truth. What do you believe? The truth of the scriptures. What is it? The truth of the scriptures. That's what I'm telling you. If you read the scriptures, then you would know. See, we can tell you a few things like the Lord is bringing death and destruction to yeah. America, which is in the scriptures. You hear me? You That's believe the that? scriptures. I mean, it's all. Do you believe that? Yeah, I believe all this is in the dead. Right. But let me ask you a question. What do you guys, as the Israelites, what, do you, what is your philosophy? What is your philosophy? Well, we can't give it to you whole, but we, we give it to you. Well, I, yeah, I'm just wondering what's that. So what you guys say about you guys from like you know other groups? The truth. You say the truth. The hundred percent truth compared to eighty percent truth, maybe. No, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to. Uh, I'm not trying to. Oh, let me say what do you I'm believe? Not trying to be so you believe what? The Lord love everybody, came to save the whole world. Yeah, that's okay. That's, so the Lord loves you if you ain't listening to His commandments. Well, the you hear me? Yeah, I mean, you you you, you observe His commandments and do them. I tried to my best. You do. And I understand that. So it's a simple one to grow a beard. It's yeah. simple. So why aren't you growing a beard? I can't. You ain't want you don't yeah, want to waste that money on them no, razors. Well, we ain't old enough. That's one thing. You can't grow a beard. He's no, still young. I don't believe you. Right. You know you're lying. No, no, no. You know you're lying. I want to have a Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's I'm young. I, no, I'm he's a young man. I haven't grown, I haven't grown <laughs> like he, yet. Well, try and grow a beard. I'm coming here for knowledge. That's all I'm doing. I know that. This is the heart. That's what we get in the spirit, all right? All the spirit of us being able to talk and have communion. You see what I'm saying? All right, so more questions, more, you know, more conversations. This is all So what you guys say about this one right here? Let me get you. I got to love what you guys say about this one. This is Matthew 15 and 24. And this is red letters. He said, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So what does that mean? He said, I'm only sent to Israel. Just us. <laughs> you well, he didn't say the, the whole world. He didn't make that scripture up. I well, right. It depends on the context. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, context. How can you change the context? I, I get some more context. This is that Jesus also says, you are no, 
you are nor Greek, you know what? nor you, Jew. Listen, you arguing about something that you know nothing about. You already said that you never read yeah. the book. You ain't no, you're a student to the book. I'm right, so you should you should really have your mouth shut. Because right. you don't understand. You hear me? Yeah, no. How can you give somebody advice and teach somebody on something that you don't eat? Damn, I, I never read Harry Potter, but I'm going to tell, tell you about Harry Potter. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, no. How am I going to correct you on something that I never even read? Hey, what what did the problem? I'm reading it. Ecclesiastes I got, or whatever, you know. I got another one for you. Whatever, get a, whatever yeah. you got, man. Oh, wait, uh, there's my bus. Uh, hold on, now you got to get one more scripture. This is a prophecy. Well, I Listen. I know Matt, you got plenty of time. Yeah. You're you going to make that choice to leave this one. Hey, the scripture yeah. said time is short. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's true. Yeah. But my life is given to Christ. So, I mean, Who? Christ. Who's that? Christ. Yeah. All right, you Who's got that? Yahweh. I'm not lost. God. My life is given to God. My time will give to God. God. Which God? Huh? Which God? There's many gods, man. What do you mean? Well, this world practices many gods. This world we in practices many, many gods. Man. Well, the God of the Bible. Okay. Nobody but you know the God of the Bible, but you never read the Bible. He's talking about the God of Israel. The God of Israel. Yeah. But you just, you, you coming up against that scripture, is a different context that he read that he's only coming for the church of Israel. Well, he got the other context he said. When you go to God, you are no Greek, no Jew, no. Yeah. Those are yeah. Israelites. That's what does right. the word Greek mean? They Greek, they Greek. Huh? What does that word Greek mean? Somebody from Greece. Well, actually, in the in the Greek text, they, the Greeks didn't call themselves Greeks. But the the word in Greek, there's two different words in the uh, New Testament, the original manuscript. It was the word Helen Hellenist and the Hellenistes. And Hellenist was a uh, was a uh, Jew who spoke Greek. But the Hellenistes was a Jew who spoke Greek but didn't know he was a Jew. See what I'm saying? It's too right. So so what do you guys exactly like? You know, what's the, like what separates you guys from a everyday Christian? Like we know where the we, we know the where the Israelites that yeah. the Bible speak of. We know where the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speak of. They they don't even know what a Israelite is, period. All they the do church. is all, all the churches really do, they just say hope, love mercy <laughs> and then they don't really give you they don't feed you they don't feed you they just say hope and love and that's it there's more it goes way deeper than that give you so, emotional message yeah you know, just all emotion the lord died of the lord died of the lord oh you got that yeah, yeah. Yeah. do you think jesus is god he's the god he's the son of the most the god. son of the most he's the, most he's the son of the most god. Uh, you guys don't do that either. No, we don't believe that he's the creator. He's not the heavenly so he father. Right. So he don't think that. Hey, you, you believe he died on the cross, right? Yeah. Well, when he was on the cross, what did he say? He said, oh my God, my God. He said, uh, Allah, Allah uh, well, he said, Allah, Allah, Allah. In the scripture, it says, what, well, Eli, in the English Bible. But he, he called out to the most high. Then he said, Father, why have you forsaken me? So why would he say that? Why would he say, Father, why have you forsaken me? If he's the Father, that don't make no sense. That's the Trinity. Yeah. The Trinity is not biblical. I mean, you, there is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but that's three. Uh, the scripture says the Most High is one. Yahweh Achad. That's in the Old Testament, Deuteronomy 6 and uh, 4. It says the Most High is one, not three. So there. You know that scripture? Huh? Yeah. Deuteronomy 6 and 4. It said the Lord is one. Can read, Bring that up. Can I read this for you real yeah. quick? That's it. Uh, Christians, they try to use that uh, one scripture where it says uh, there's three that's in the witness of heaven and they're all one, right? But let's read this. This oh, is John 17 and uh, 21. Or it's like 20. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which uh, shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee. See? So, because people try to use that scripture that Father and Jesus, whatever, is one. But he said we're going to be one to them too. We are also one with the Father. Does that mean we're the most high? No. That's you know what I'm saying? Matthews 26 uh, and 29. Hold like, on, let me finish this real quick. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. So, do you I never got this before. Do you believe that? Uh, yeah, of course. He was at final sacrifice. And so, do you believe that his life is eternal? Like, he had eternal life and, uh, you know, he's the Lord. He, so, he's the one, if you believe on him, you'll have eternal life. 
So, if you guys have to do any of the what sets you apart from the Christian church? Like, what, like what you guys do that? Like, well, you just said a couple things, though. You said they teach in the Trinity, which is not biblical. Okay? They, they teach that the Lord will come to save all nations. That's not biblical. They teach that the law is done away with. That's not biblical. So they're teaching a lot of things that are contrary to the scripture. Okay? And the scripture said... Uh, that Trinity is insane. Yeah. That trinity. That go, I mean, it goes back to that pay. I mean, like in the Egypt, they had their Trinity. Uh, yeah. Isis, Horus, and... Uh, uh, what'd I say? Isis, Horus, Horus and Osiris. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, uh, you had, and the Babylonians had their trinity, uh, Nimrod, Semiramis, and Tammuz. That's where all that comes from, that there's, trinity. There's nothing new under the sun. It just repeats itself. That's the devil, man. He don't, he, he's not creative. He just steals from the past wickedness. <laughs> Look, I got a scripture, because we know what we're talking about. That's the difference between us and the Christians. We know what we're talking about. That's you know, a big... Christians don't know what they're talking they, about. They, 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 they ain't got a clue. Like, they clueless. Clueless. They clueless. My, some of them might have good intentions. They might really want to help people. Me. That, yes, uh, and get that scripture. There's got a... Uh, uh, well, I got a go guy. Not according to... Well, I told you you going to make that decision to get out of here. Oh, yeah. yeah. You said you, you, you committed your life to Christ, but you got more important things to do other than learn this truth, man. Well, I have even uh, finished it for myself. So, well, this is a, a good head start like, by I coming to the truth. And then going out. Hey, no man able to put his hand on a plow and look at back and for the kingdom of heaven. Oh, that's another thing the Christians will do. They don't do what they're commanded. They don't go on the highways and the byways and teach his word. Trust me, they ain't nothing more important than this. They had that example in Luke 9 where everybody keep coming to the Lord and saying, well, first, let me, let me, let me follow you, but let me go back to my house and uh, bury my dad. Okay, the Lord said, yeah, the Lord I said, just got married. Yeah. Well, dead, excuses. Dead. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. excuses, excuses. I care less about this goddamn world. This world is passing away, man. You know? This is what's important. You have faith with that gift we were given. That faith, man. Whatever you worried about in the world, man, the Lord's gonna take care of you. I, what, did it, what did he say about the world? They said, they tried to say, the he said, love not, John 2 and 15, he said, love not the world, neither the things that are in it. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Ooh, that's right, man. That's the scriptures. I mean, yeah, that's I, the scriptures. Yeah, I agree you know? With he that is a friend of this world is an enemy to the most. Ooh, that's that James Warren Ford. <laughs> you, know, you know, hey, so nothing else is important in this world, man. Don't worry about the world. This is what's... Uh, uh, all right. If you, <laughs> you really want to serve me, keep on. Tell me, like, all right, so I've asked you guys, what? Right, Mine is racing. What do you guys believe, man? Right. The truth of the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, the truth of the Bible. The truth of the Bible. Yeah, he's coming to save the children of Israel. He's going to establish the kingdom of heaven, and we're going to have slaves. Like I said, I just can't answer that. You know, I mean, how can you do that? I want to cut it. It's endless. <laughs> what did you hear about slaves? Slaves? Hold on. Let me, hey. Let me get you one. We got a lot of scriptures on that. Let me get you one. This one you get, yeah. Slaves, There's a lot of scriptures on that. Because we are for oppression, man. The most high is going to pay back these devils for what they've done to us. Who are the devils? The Edomites. Where are the Edomites? So-called white people. Are you white? No, I'm a little bit Here you go. This is Psalm 149. You'll learn the spirit. Don't go. Uh, don't. I'm, Israel, you'll scattered, learn the spirit. Israel scattered among all nations. So you guys. Not, not all white people are Edomites. You make it plain and simple for you. Isn't that so obvious? That there, there's, there's a difference. You, you, you know who this is. You gonna know who Israel is through the spirit. The spirit bears witness. We can tell by the spirit who an Israelite is. You can just, you can just look at somebody, bro. And hey, talk to them when you talk to somebody. That's right. Here you go with some slavery. Psalms 149 is you talk. Let the saints be joyful glory. Let them sing the last dead. Let the high praises of the most high be in their mouth. A two-edged sword in their hand. What's a man gonna be doing with a two-edged sword? Uh, that's what they use to make love to with. No, two-edged sword is used to kill. You hear what I'm saying? That's good. Enough. With a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon the heathen. Two-thirds of the people are heathens, but overall, the Israelites ain't heathens, man. Uh, you hear me? We're supposed to be separate from the heathen. That's it's what the word holy right. means, to be separated. It separates itself. Listen, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the kingdoms, upon the people, to bind their kings with chains, 
and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written. This iron has them all the saints, praise ye the Lord. And the judgment written is, this devil got he you know all his wickedness that he's been doing and continue to do to this day, he's gonna get judged for it eventually. Well, so you feel like every person that's not African American or Latino or an Israelite, just say an Israelite. Any, any person that's not an Israelite. You see me out here, don't you? Right. So any person that's not an Israelite, right, right, is gonna face an inevitable doom, right? No, no, no. This, this, what's the word I'm looking for? The Lord's merciful. The Lord's merciful. The Lord's merciful. This, the next thousand years is going to be hell for the other nation. Well, okay. I mean, I for Esau. Oh, but the, right, right. It's going to be hell. Then in the kingdom of heaven, <laughs> everybody going to get their fair share except for Esau. But the Edomites, the so-called white men. Now, your homework today is to do, go read the book of Obadiah and take your time going through the book. It is a, a short book. Oh, <laughs> now you got that the book of uh, Obadiah. Revelation. That's your homework. I'm telling you. And that's you come back and talk to us about the book of Obadiah. Man. You know, that yeah. Edomite, the so-called white man, he's gonna go into hardcore slavery for a thousand years. After that thousand years, we're gonna bind them all up and burn them. So they gonna come back after we burn them. They gonna come back and be dispersed amongst the heathen nations, the other nations. The white man's never gonna come back again. Never. But his spirit is going to go amongst the other nations, not these people. Because the Lord is merciful at the end of the day. Where did you guys find that out? It's in the Bible. What part? We got one, one scripture at a time. Hey, get this revelation. Revelation uh, 13 and 9. It's the Lord speaking. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Now, it's in the New Testament. It's not the Old Testament. It's the New Testament. Now, listen. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity or slavery. Now go into captivity. That was America's story. You can't deny that, King. I mean, that's what goes around, comes around. It's karma. Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Listen to this part. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's the patience and the faith of the saints is that what, ha what happened to Israel is going to happen to their enemies. That's the faith and the patience. That's our faith that our enemies are going to be destroyed. That's the faith. We know the Lord going to destroy our enemies. We know He is. Oh, I got another one. So that just got me in the spirit. Maybe want to show you, show you. So you guys don't think that this is hateful? Oh, that's the spirit. You said that. You're supposed to hate evil. You're supposed to embrace it and love it. Who's evil? The world. The world, the world is, is evil. And the Edomites. Yeah, yeah. I look. Roman. Yes. They're the children of Satan. Here, here you go. I got a quick one. Romans 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Who's Jacob? That's Israel. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So he clearly said Esau, that's the father of the Edomites. And he said the Lord hates Edomites. It's right there, so that's hate. You can't get around it. He said, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So is the Lord evil because he said he hates the Edomites? No. God forbid. He's not evil. <laughs> Here you go. That's the truth, bro. That's what the Bible says. We know the Bible. That's why the Lord got us out here. To give you the truth. The truth, like they say, is a hard foot with swallow for some reason. <laughs> and so, I gotta go, guys. All right, man. This has been the second bus. If you guys are here tomorrow, I'll probably talk. We'll be out here next Monday. Now you All gotta right. get the truth while it's here. We're gonna continue on with that spirit. His mind was, was, was made to be the way he is, man. You know? His mind was racing a million miles per hour. He's, he's about to go walk the street. I the bus. <laughs> Now, uh, Romans 9, we were just at home. Um, in 19, that one, you don't say thing unto me, why doth he yet find fault for who can resist his will? Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies to him? Shall the thing form say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? People got to always argue, man, about that, man. The white man, the Edomites, is they can yell man. You know, they can't, they can't accept that, man. 
They love their fucking slave master. What's that word we, we used to call it? Stockholm Center. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Hey, they got heavy doses of that Stockholm shit, man. That's just common sense. All you gotta do is just look at the world. I can't be living in this world and I know who the wicked is, man. How is that even possible? Alright, stop raining. Oh. You got a lot of white jakes too, they'll never admit that. You know, because they, they always hold on to. That's why the Lord gonna destroy him. He's gonna get fucked up. Two thirds gonna get fucked up. That's what you're talking shit to you, you to get fucked up. Uh, verse 21, Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel oh. unto honor and another unto dishonor? Wow. See, if he would have sat his simple ass here, he could have received this vessel. Yep. So the Lord made, he made one, a vessel of honor, which was Israel, Jacob, and he made a vessel of dishonor, which was Esau. The devil. He clearly said it. I mean, it don't get no more clear than that. It's beautiful, man. I don't. And it's beautiful how two thirds just can't get it. <laughs> you know? With your son bitches. But you know, I mean, they hear the spirit, it cuts them to the heart. What's good with you? Hi. You know, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? Uh, Destruction. Maybe. maybe. Ain't no maybe. It's coming. It's coming. All this is about to be destroyed. The Lord is going to destroy it. He's going to destroy America with fire. You know that's coming, right? Not really. You say he's going to destroy the earth. Nah, he's going to destroy America with fire. Babylon the Great. You ever read a book of Revelation? It talks about how Babylon the Great is falling. It's falling. Hey, hey, check it out. They refer to it as Mystery Babylon. Oh, Mystery. Ooh, that Mystery. Yep. You know? So ancient Babylon, no, no, no. Even though I, what the U.S. is over there in, in, in ancient Babylon right now, causing rackets and hell, and no, uh, this is that mystery Babylon, America. What is this? That's the twelve oh, tribes of Israel. Last twelve tribes of Israel. Oh yeah, where are you from? Spain. Okay. That's what's up. What's up, homie? You from here too? You from here over there? You from Spain too? Yeah. What y'all come here for, man? I've been going back to Spain. Opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> here you go, Amos nine and eight. Behold, listen. The eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Right. The, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. He's going to destroy it from off the face of the earth. America is a, 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 a sinful kingdom. A massive kingdom, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> so it's not America a sinful kingdom. It's a uh, legalized homosexual marriage. Ooh, you know the church of Satan. You know the church of Satan was founded by uh, Anton LaVey in San Francisco in America. In America. It's, it's legal to be a devil worshiper. You see that... Uh, Baphomet statue they erect. Where is that at? Big one too. Miss Missouri or Massachusetts or somewhere in the in, somewhere in the Bible Belt. <laughs> For real. But it, this is a nation of devil worship. You they got a whole uh, city named Sin City. Oh, it's Las Vegas. Yeah. You know. Uh, Sin, Sin City. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she Sin just City. got us in Cincinnati. Cincinnati. That's beautiful. We can add that. One. Too much. Uh, no English. I speak Spanish, but I, I know very little. Oh, I'm supposed to get a Spanish Bible. No, I blow. Okay. Uh, Moipacano, no, I blow. See you in the other earth. Adios. That's the right. Other the other earth. The new earth. Adios. The new earth. The new earth. I, I had a feeling she couldn't understand this very well. He just asked what she said. And she, she said, oh, I know English. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. I try to talk slow. You don't understand judgment, but just believe every bitch is going to come over. They know, they know what I'm saying. I'm coming here to America. Why would you want to? Spain's a beautiful country. Bro. For real, bro. I'm trying to go to Spain. <laughs> for real, for real. I've been wanting to go to Spain. So, shit. Ain't, it's full of history, man. Full they of got, history, man. They got that good wine over there, too. Good women. Ooh, good women. Ooh, good women. <laughs> shit. There ain't no GMOs. Ooh. 
Well, you going back to that? You know, all nations going back to that simple kingdom. You know, all nations not outlawed ge uh, genetically modified foods except for America. They're trying to get started with it too. They got us fucked up over here. This says in verse 22, what if the most high, verse 21 again, has not the pot, pot, pot of power over the clay, or the same lump to make one vessel on some honor? And, and again, the Genesis will go through over their head anyway. They understand the Lord actually made us out of the earth, earth man. You know? They understand any of that. That's what the word Adam means. Means from the ground. To make one vessel to honor the other, to dishonor what if the Most High, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. The vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. That shit is clear a vessel of wrath. Yeah. A vessel of dishonor. To punish the children of Israel for fucking being a bunch of dumbasses. Being a bunch of wicked dumbasses. I wanted to hit your boy with this scripture, man. I gotta bring it out anyway. That's another thing about Israel back in the day. They've always known the history of Israel, the times going into captivity, going you know, to other nations. So they should have learned from the past, man. They should have learned. That's how I fuck this hey, up. that's why we got that book. So there's, so there's no excuses. It says. Like, you know, all them Christians got a Bible. All of them. They all got a Bible, but why do they got all these excuses? Because they're not reading. They're not reading. <laughs> That's like two. He admitted it. <laughs> That's right. He, he know more. It. He know we're wrong, but he and he right. knows more. Because right. He didn't read nothing. He admitted it. Right. But he knows so much. Isn't that crazy, man? That's fucked up. He's correct. Because <laughs> Paso come up to him like, oh my child, those guys, those guys are devil. They was in the spirit that Satan has had a hold of them. It says. And that he might make known the riches of his glory from the vessels of mercy, which he had before prepared unto glory as the elect, even us whom he had called not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. And these are stumbling blocks that we read, right? but also unto the Gentiles. I got a scripture block. for that. I don't got so many scriptures popping in my head right now. <laughs> I gotta slow it down. Hold up. The computer work, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's what our brains are for Badass. Right? That's crazy. Esau can't make nothing like this. Yeah. Yeah, this Here. So, what did that scripture say you read? Well, this is Romans 9 and, and 24. Read that one part about the Jews and the Gentiles. Okay, uh, 24. I'm sorry, 24 again. And that he might make known the riches of his glory on the, on, on the vessels of mercy which he had. Before prepared unto glory, even us, whom he hath called, not of the Jew only, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Right, I got this scripture right here. It's a Psalms 147 and 1. Praise you the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our power. For it is pleasant and praises calmly. The Lord doth build up Jerusalem, he gathereth together the outcast of Israel. <laughs> That's, that's talking about them Gentiles. That's the out, they was out, if you are outcast, oh, what does that mean? Oh, that means you're not allowed around here. You may cast it out. Outcast. Just like they want, the, they looked down at the Gentiles, didn't they? They had a problem with the Gentiles. They had a problem with them. They was, they was outcast. So um, yeah. Nice one. When, when you, when you don't keep Passover or the Sabbath, you put the kick out of it. Yeah. Yep. That's an outcast. Let me read a little. Let me read that again. The Lord does build up Jerusalem. He gathered together the outcasts of Israel. Let's check this out, though. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. He telleth the number of the stars. He calleth them all by their name. Because Israel is more numerous than the stars. And we know as the stars of heaven, right? That's right. Because Israel is so numerous, they're more numerous than the stars of heaven. He telleth the number of their stars, he calleth them all by their name. Great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord lifted up the meek, he casteth the wicked down to the ground. And though the Lord of what? Matthew 5 said what? He said, Blessed the meek. So that's Israel. That's 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 so simple. 
That meat is different. That meat is powerful. That meat is loaded. This is what you smell like? The outcast of Israel. Fucking bullshit. Here we go. Come on with it. Here we go. Yeah. It's so Rock 33 and uh, it started at 10. It says, And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of earth. Much knowledge the Lord had divided them, made their ways diverse. Made their ways diverse. Because you not all the nations are all the same. They're not all the same. They got different spirits. Some of them have some of them have been blessed and assaulted, and some of them have been sanctified and set to themselves. That's Israel. Some of them have been cursed and brought low and turned out in their places. Esau, Canaan. <laughs> Curse be Canaan. The scripture said, "Curse be Canaan." <laughs> so Canaan blessed now, right? It is, I guess the Lord changes. Obviously, yeah, they say he raped Noah. Yeah. That's not in the scriptures. <laughs> they people bugged out, bro. They saying what they just want was pushing that he came in and saw Noah naked, meaning that he saw his, his mom. And he, uh, and he, so he disgraced Noah by making himself look bigger and bad by raping his mom in front of Noah. <laughs> That's, That's crazy, madness. man. That's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. You can't do nothing but clown on them people when you go with those crazy videos, man. I've heard, I haven't which, heard that which, one. Which Kane will do that. I ain't heard that. That's the first time I heard that right. one. Right. Kane will do that. Yeah, he, he will. Does. Yeah, yeah. You know, just Nimrod. <laughs> you know, Simaramas. What Tom Moose coming out, you know? But how they, they just bugged out people that do that bullshit, man. They don't know how to go. Jack always got to teach some bugged out yep, shit. Yep, yep. He always got to take it too far. Get too deep. <laughs> Literally too deep. too deep. Talking about Noah got raped. Right. What did you say? He said, I said he wanted to disrespect his father, make him bigger, make him feel like he's in control. He's the man, you know? After, after the, after the part. He wanted to come out as the main man that got him through all that, man. It's crazy. It's bugged out just to listen to the shit. So he raped his mama in front of Noah. <laughs> That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Right. So how do they explain why did the two brothers come, Jim and Jaffa, come in walking backwards? Covering up Noah. Right, right. They don't think that shit out too much. Don't, don't think too much. Right, right. They just, they you know what happened. They smoke that good weed and they get a vision. Or this or this some, or this some uh, drugs or something. Get some certain. <laughs> it's if a, I don't know. They on something. You don't get that being sober minded. God, you really don't. Oh shit! I done smoked plenty of weed I before and stuff. Down. But you know, you I mean, you do some shit. You know, you get some crazy thoughts popping in your head. You do. You do. That's how it's supposed to work. Your mind's supposed to be working on the scripture. You gotta learn how but, to recycle the bullshit out. And, you know. And the, for the reprobate man, because the Lord gave them over to reprobate mind. He's sending them spirits on, boy. Right. This is the uh, definition. To, you got to finish that? Yeah. This is the definition of outcast. But if you want to go finish that, go ahead. Move part. It says, as the clay is in the potter's hands, to fashion it as his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him. To oh, oh, shoot. That said the same thing as uh, that Romans 9 you was reading. Mm -hmm. Read that again. As the clay is in the potter's hands, to fashion it as his pleasure. He, so, you, go, you go, the clay is in the potter's hand as the most high. And he gonna do whatever he want with the clay. If he didn't want to make a, a righteous man, he gonna do that. If he wanna make a devil, he gonna do that. Exactly like he did. And he obviously did it. He got all kinds of devils out here. All kinds. Different kinds. He gonna tell me the most high didn't create them? Right. I mean the wide variety, unlimited amount of devils. That's the leader right there. The people say God's all love. But he created everybody. But he why did he create so much evil? Sun come out shining. You say, God is all love. The heavens open up. If we, if we say that, we might get struck by light. Mm -hmm. the most high is like, oh. It doesn't even sound right. Yeah. Well, I don't feel comfortable saying that. Man. Most high is everything. Balanced. Everything. These motherfuckers are one that ain't balanced. That's why they're taking all them goddamn drugs, man. Yeah. To stay sane. All them antidepressants. Right. Just to stay fucking sane, they take taking dope. Do that. Said, uh, so is the man. So is the hand of, of him that made him to render them as like it was better. That was a good scripture. 
This uh, definition of outcast it says a person cast out it? or rejected. A person cast out or rejected. What is that outcast? A person cast out or rejected. So when the, the Gentiles in the New Testament, they was looked down upon. But then Paul went, he went up to Jerusalem and he had he brought some of uh, the, uh, uh, I think Timothy with him or something. You know what I'm talking about? And yeah, people, they was yeah. looking down on him. Right, right. And then they told him he had to get circumcised and all that. They looked at him like he was unclean because he was uncircumcised. And then Paul got a, uh, and the law was only given to Israel, right? That's right. The law of circumcision was only given to Israel. I, I wasn't Timothy that he made him get circumcised. Yeah. Paul got in a debate with uh, Peter over there. Paul lost that debate. To discard. The Israel got discarded. He got rejected. Oh. Uh, what's that, Jose? He said, You are not my people. Yeah, you go ahead and get that. He said, You are not my people. That's me. That's an outcast. And the Lord scattered Israel. Motherfuckers out here eating everything, doing everything to please their flesh. He should cast them out. Bro, they eating, yeah, eating swine's flesh. Yeah. Eating our assholes. I mean, if you're, you, we got sons, man. Imagine your, our son out Fucking eating out another man's ass, man. You ain't your son. You gonna be like, oh, my son is bad, man. Yeah, you, you be ashamed. He was fucking shit out of that faggot, man. You know? Hey, no, nah, hell no. We're gonna be like, motherfucker, I hope the book. We're gonna curse him out, man. We're gonna condemn him to death, man. I'll be one to kill myself. All right, we're gonna judge him to death, man. Judgment is death for that homosexual shit, man. That'd be like that. He'd be just, that's like your son dying. Damn right. Suits on Somebody, your yeah, son right, do something yeah. like that? That's talking about dishonor to your family. That's a major offense to a father, man. But these days, man, like Magic Johnson's super dumbass. He, he proud of his son, man. And if your daughter become a whore. Right. That motherfucking son is that nigga like six four, six five, man, Magic Johnson's son, man. Big old faggot. A big fucking faggot. A big weirdo. Oh, oh, I don't know if it was the government just released. But they saying now a lot of them motherfucking trannies that got their shit ch chopped off on stress, they they uh, depressed, they, they, they can't reverse it back because they you know they want to have I, a little sex. I'd be depressed too. <laughs> you get your dick chopped off. That's just judgment, man. God damn. That's judgment, man. You can't bust a nut no more? Bro. What the fuck? Yeah. Wow. Oh, Why would you do that? Oh, the reprobate That's mom. crazy. Gave you up to a reprobate mom. That's crazy. Yeah. But like the scripture says, this ain't my people. This ain't my people. This ain't my people. Let wow. me read that whole thing. Hosea 1 and 8. It says, uh, 7 9. Then said God, call his name Lo and me, for you are not my people. Yeah, Lo and me, which in Hebrew that means just the uh Laha Aqua I'm ya, right? I believe. Well, it means you're not my people in Hebrew. He actually named well one of the children that you're not my people as a, a yeah, yeah. symbolic. Son of a... Uh, Jose, right? Was it Jose? Yeah, yeah, Jose. Okay. And he died young, too? I can't remember how I read it. You catch right. me slipping in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shit, man. You can't remember it all. The brain trying to stay in the spirit of doing this, you know what I mean? Hey, that's another reason we come out here. <laughs> right. We got here, y'all hit me with scriptures. I'll be learning scriptures from y'all. <laughs> We read it by the whole Bible before. Oh, we can't. We don't need to read it again. <laughs> you will always pick up something new. You will always pick up something new, man. Always. And another thing, the blessing you will remember a lot of them, the more you read. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful. Right? Certain scriptures when they hit you, that you always remember. Yeah. I'll never forget it. Right. I don't have to be your God. Uh, not be your guy, because the Lord cast Israel away. Let me read it again. What is that? Psalms 147 and 2. The Lord doth build up Jerusalem. That's what we right now. Well, this is building up Jerusalem. Building up the tabernacle of David. You do that through the teaching of the word. He said, the Lord doth build up Jerusalem. He gathereth together the outcast of Israel. So if you, if you are outcast of Israel, that means you're not part of Israel. 
That means you've been cat. I mean, I had to explain it over there. Here you go, the rest of the definition. One who has been expelled from his castle. Who's been what? One who has been expelled from his castle. From his castle? House. From his house? Yeah, Israel got expelled from his country, his castle, his house. He got kicked out the land. And ultimately, all of Israel got kicked out the land. The Romans came and burned Jerusalem down in what, 70 AD? A lot of Israelites fled, they scattered to the four corners. A lot of them went to the west coast of Africa. Some went north, some went south, east, west. Scattered to the four winds. Oh, shit. Just step. Just, just a step. It's probably a good ass time, though. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, most of them was murmuring though. Yeah. Israel, you know, for the righteous brother, they's out there having a good time. Oh. You know, Israel complaining. They ain't had no meat. They got tired of the man. Oh, he got complain. Ain't nothing ever good enough. No, I think so. I saw chapter 4, chapter 5, and he said also unto your city, I will call them my people which were not my people. I will call them my people which were not my people. But he already said he cast off Israel. Yep. And her beloved which was not beloved. Where is that at? Oh, back to, I went back to Romans. Oh, okay. Started back in 20. I think he did call me this scripture on that day. Because uh, you read the end of that uh, Hosea, at the end of Hosea, he says, and you are my people. And he, he prophesied he's going to bring Israel back together. Same with, uh, I'm not sure if, uh, uh, at the end of the, uh, you know, uh, dude coming out of the belly of the beast, I mean the belly of the whale. Yeah, Jonah? Now the people, I think the people changed then too, if I'm correct. I think the people, yeah, the people in the Venom repented. Nineveh. Yeah. Nineveh? Yeah, Nineveh, yeah. You didn't destroy them. Okay, here we go, and it shall come to pass. What one, what scripture is that real quick? This is Romans 9 and 26. Okay, I just want to see if they got any precepts. Okay. Oh, well, I, I'm going to read 25 here. And he said unto him, say, I will call them my people which were not my people, and her beloved which was not beloved. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, then shall they be called the children of the living power. The Israelites. The Israelites. Yeah, he was quoting. Like yeah, he was quoting Hosea right there, the second chapter yeah. and the first chapter. Um, That's fire. Twenty-seven. Hosea. Also crying concerning Israel. Though the number of children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. Ah, remnant. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. <laughs> he said a short work. <laughs> right, right, right. He gonna do a short work. He got a lightweight. He's right. a little raggedy ass country. Bro. Show his power. His pe the power that the world denying, man. Yeah, you know Esau walking around flexing, Bold, like he's mighty, proud. powerful. Yep. Yep. He uh, bullying all these other nations. Ooh. He man, man. They just went into Syria, man, with no fear. They in Syria just say, fuck y'all. The whole Syrian government like, uh-uh, we're about, about to fight. That's what's about to happen, man. They're about to fight for the U.S. government. The U.S. just sending all the Marines. I mean, they about to get bitter. They just can't fucking wait, I know, wait, they man. take it too long. They can't wait, up. man. Yeah, yeah, they act like they belong in it, though. Man, we, uh, that's beautiful. That's gonna take time to die. It's coming. What's that good food, though? Like, you making a good pot roast? Right, right. That take a minute to cook. It simmers. You got to simmer. simmer. You yeah. got to let it, you got to let it yeah, cook. Right. That shirt is hard. That shirt is hard. Oh, that means you got to let it soak. Yeah. You got to soak them. You can't. Overnight and water. You got to, oh, uh, yeah. You got to decarbon, you got to decarbon the beans, man. Yeah, the turkey, you just can't throw a turkey in the microwave. You got to cook it all night. What's up, man? One hour. Oh, yeah, that's that. He's going to roast it, though. Speedy beans. That speedy riddance. <laughs> he he going to destroy them with a double destruction. 
Three. That's Speedy Riddick. An hour is that Speedy Riddick, man. I always forget that one. Man. An hour? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I love that script. Yeah, Zephaniah. Yeah. A Speedy Riddick. Man, the Lord, bro, the way he talks, man. He talking shit. He be talking shit. And that's what Jake, Jake that's how you know him. He gives like, he yeah. talking shit. Esau don't talk shit like that. Oh, hell, hell. Esau talking to deceit. The Lord's a straight shooter. He'll come straight with it. Yeah, yeah. He's a smooth tone. That's uh, shit. The Lord talks, he had taunt you. Even your house high, uh, he was taunting people. He's, he's an instigator. Yeah, he's That's instigator. why we out here. Yeah, he's he's an instigator. Hell yeah. Shit. That's funny. <laughs> shit. Zephaniah 1 and 14. 14. The great day of Yahweh is near. It is near in haste of greatness. Ooh, a haste of greatness. That's why he said the kingdom is at hand. That's a that's hastening. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. And the mighty man gonna cry bitterly. Like all these military men. I you seen the videos on YouTube too. They got like Marines out there fighting. Uh uh Muslim shooting at me crying. The table shit. Oh yeah. It's really vicious. It's getting shut up. Hey, King David said with the spirit, the power of the Lord, he ran through a tree. The Lord will put the spirit on you, bro. All the bullets are missing. That's a comic book in real life. Yeah. For real. That's real. That's real super heroes. You heard stories of people like somebody pull a gun out on them, shoot them like point blank range and all the bullets missing. Yeah. That's, I remember this case back in the 80s. I wanted to crash in her car and the car was on top of her face. She looked at him and put the car off the baby. Yeah, you got the gun. You got the spirit. That, that's it. The spirit of the truth. Yeah. <laughs> the Lord was with her. That's super power. The Lord was with her and her baby. Either. That's great for her. Either the motherfuckers deserve to be destroyed or they're going to live here. He just had mercy on him. Right, that's right. Yeah. Give her a little more time. <laughs> right. You a whole bitch today. And that motherfucking man was going to see that baby's father. <laughs> you know how these women are. They ain't fucking right. Oh, oh. That's all they got. That's all we left with. We left with nothing but hoes out here. Yeah. Leftover. That's all we got. You know, you gonna get a meal. You try, <laughs> get, try to eat some dinner, bro. Ain't nothing but leftovers. Some shit been in there for a week. That's these hoes out here. Leftover. A day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteless and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of trumpet and shall alarm, the alarm shall against the fifth city and against the high tower, and I will bring distress upon men, and they shall walk like blind men because they have because they have sinned against the hour, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as a dung. <laughs> They're gonna be like <laughs> Shit. People gonna be laying around rotting to death, man. It's just done. Everybody's gonna be laying, everybody's gonna be burying them bodies, man. Everybody's just